I think game dev timelines are sh mostly shifting and becoming longer. Consumers are currently setting the bar higher than before, and so production becomes more costly and takes more time. Game development times, uh, timelines have been shifting towards both directions. If you look at games that are in the hyper-casual space, uh, we, we've seen games for the first time developed in a week or 10 days. That wasn't possible before. I think tools like Unity helped a lot. Throughout my career, I started with the mid core games that were developed in three to six months. Now it's not uncommon to have a game that basically takes from the conception phase to the soft launch to global launch four or five years. And that's unprecedented for, for mobile gaming. I think it's a reflection of the audience and the different monetization and marketing opportunities and how the platform is evolving to accommodate for all these models. Trying to increase productivity and efficiency I think has primarily been a fight to keep people connected. The landscape of how we develop has changed so much because of the global pandemic that, that spun up and how dev teams had to react to that. So the key ways in which I've been trying to promote productivity and efficiency have been about making hybrid workspaces in the workspace I work in to be a, as comfortable and collaborative as a space as in person would feel. Feeling like you are with your peers and, and collaborating as a team versus anybody on an individual island, that kind of morale boost is something that increases productivity and efficiency across the board because people want to work with each other. So the most important thing is building this team and while you're building this team, it's also very important to have a clear goal so all the team can pursue that goal and then cut these goals into smaller objectives so you just focus on the short term and without noticing, you start getting into the midterm and then you realize that you have to in the long term goals. And with that, you progress without really noticing that you are really doing that progress. We work a lot with ownership of products. So we try to keep the game teams as focused as possible on delivering for end consumers and not delivering to some higher up and feel that ownership so that if there is something that is missing, even if it's not your field of expertise, you'll still fight for it. We're taking many steps to try and increase productivity. I think one of the major one was to separate the workflows of the different disciplines that go into making the game. Every coder, every designer has his tools, his workflows that are well-defined, do not overlap in terms of responsibilities with the other disciplines to the greatest extent so that they can work unimpeded. Instrumental to achieving this is having the right tools, the right pipelines. The engine itself can do a lot to help that in the way you structure the code and the assets and how you manage them. So using technologies like uh, addressables has helped a lot providing that separation, for instance, from code and art. But that yields the most value in speeding up development. To increase our productivity, like many others, we've been really looking at AI and seeing how can we actually use these new generation of tools, empower our designers so they can actually create new assets, so they can explore new ideas, how we can prototype new ways of characters and bringing them to life and having them animate in new ways, and really start exploring how we can bring these worlds to life.